Hey everyone, I'm Fiddler Man and welcome to another tune a week. This week's tune is Boccherini's Pasta Calle and it's also the theme from Master and Commander. Uh, let's get started by tuning our instrument and here's my A in case you want to play along with me. I divided the music into five parts as a tutorial and part number four is going to be your melody. The other parts are part of the accompaniment. So you can do this with a looper pedal or with a buddy if you like. I'll include the tutorial as well as the duet sheet music on fiddlerman.com and I'll include a link under this YouTube video so you can find it quicker. I'll be playing this duet together with Michael O'Giblin at the end of the tutorial. And this is a Tower Strings Entertainer Violin that you can get at fiddlershop.com. Be sure to check it out. The price is going to surprise you. Now let's get started. So basically there's three chords of the accompaniment. The first one you'll be playing is open G, open D, first finger on the A and the second finger on the G. So here's the chord. Just make sure your first finger doesn't touch the D by mistake or the second finger doesn't touch the A. So you could be way over to the outer part of the violin as long as you touch those strings. The next chord you'll do the you'll just move your hand slightly over so that you're closer to the inside you're just crossing over one string it's hard to see when I get my fingers in the way so practice playing them individually and then the next one you just pull the same position you don't need to change the position so that your first finger just touches the E string and then back to the first one again. You can also choose to play a la guitar, same chords. Or back and forth. So part number two is essentially the same thing as part number one, except easier. And that's part number two. Part number three is very easy, just four notes. And if you want to play this in a group with other people, one person could do this throughout the whole piece. It's just G, B with the second finger on the G string, G, third finger on the G string, either open D or fourth finger. One more time. Or with the open D. So to get a better sound on your pizzicato, press a little harder with the left hand. If you press lightly, you won't get a resonating sound. Or open string, right here. That's part number three. So part number four is a melody and it goes like this. One, two. Now, the harmonic is in bar, let's see, 29, 30, 31. So all you do is play the slide up with your hand until you get to the middle of the string, middle of the string from the nut to the bridge. Either with the third finger, which is the same finger you just left with the G natural. And when you hit it, 
it'll resonate, so it'll pop, it'll be louder. That's the harmonic, and you let it resonate. You just lift your finger up right away. In the beginning, you can practice until you get the note, and then after a while, you'll know the distance to travel. You can land on the A, open A, or the fourth finger. And then bar 34, you can play just the top note. So I played in second position, you could play in cross the strings, or you could play in third position. Or shift on the A. And you stay in third position here. Back down here. Same thing here. And then back down. Or. Now part number five is going to look really hard, but it's actually the same thing as part number one, except you're just going to go back and forth. You can do it with a flat bow so the bow bounces a little bit or play it on the string. Now I'm going to do this together with my buddy Michael Giblin. Thanks for watching. See you next week for another Tune a Week.